All right, welcome back to another video. Uh, it is a week of lunch, teacher's edition, and I've got my first lunch here. <laughs> it smells so good, I just heated it up. I'm very excited. Uh, it is the fourth quarter. I'm trying to crouch down so my head doesn't get cut off here. It's the fourth quarter, and uh, it's the last quarter of school. So the year has gone by really fast. Uh, I'm about to be unemployed at the end of this school year. Um, people think that the teachers get paid for the summer, but we don't. We Our contracts stop and we don't get paid anymore after the last week of May or whenever your contract's through, and then we don't get start getting paid until two weeks after we start, which is in the uh, middle of August. So uh, for the summer, I'm unemployed, and that happens every year. Uh, and then Lex is gonna graduate, of course, and then I've got a trip I have to take my uh, Skills USA students on in June, that we do every year. So a lot's about to happen, uh, but today I'm having lunch, and I'm continuing with my high protein uh, meals. This is my, uh, my plant-based loaf. Let me show you a little overview and you can see what I'm working with here. All right, you can see right here, I've got my, uh, my beautiful uh, plant-based protein loaf right here. Oh man, this looks so good. I got a little nooch uh, sprinkled on top. And then I've got some broccoli with some sriracha and uh, like onion flakes and garlic salt. And then I've got the McDougal uh, golden gravy here. Uh, and that I'm just gonna pour right on top of the meatloaf. Oh, can't wait to eat this. Let's get started. All right. Gosh, it smells so good. I heat it up in the microwave. Um, I like to just take the sauce separately and just kind of drizzle over on top here. Oh, yeah. There you go. Looks delicious. And this is a quarter of the loaf when you make it. So the loaf makes, the recipe is right here. If you check that out, uh, the loaf makes, uh, you know, a big loaf pan and you just cut it into four. You want to cut it into four because uh, otherwise you won't get all the macros that I have in here. This loaf with the broccoli is, four, I want to say 41.9, 42 grams of protein. And that's a lot. Uh, so this is a perfect size meal and quite a bit of protein. Oh my gosh, it is so good. Oh man. It's funny because when I was growing up, my mom would make meatloaf. I didn't like meatloaf. It just seemed like it was mushy and I hated the texture. Even though I was a meat eater, I just didn't like meatloaf. But this, so good. All right, so it is uh, the second week of, no, the third, it's St. Patty's Day already passed. So it's like the middle of March, the third week of March. And things are really going well as far as uh, working out and weight loss and, and muscle building. So I'm going for another scan this week. I can't wait to see the results. And for the broccoli, all I do is get the frozen broccoli at Costco, little bags. Throw in the microwave for six minutes, and then I just kind of throw them in a strainer to drain any excess liquid. And I put them in a bowl, and I put uh, dried onion flakes in there. I sprinkle some garlic salt and some sriracha. And that's it. Oh, man. That sriracha is hot. Oh, that's hot. Um, and that's all I do with the broccoli. I just, I keep it simple. Broccoli's got some protein in it. This, a cup of broccoli has five grams of protein. Added to the 37 grams of protein to the loaf, and that gives you 42 grams. So it's a nice little boost for this loaf. All right, so I've been doing a lot of driving with Lex lately. He's uh, learning to drive. Uh, he's had his permit for over a year now. In fact, it expired and he had to renew it, but we're at the point where he really kind of feels like, okay, it's time for me to drive. So we're doing that. I'm just trying to like let him drive home from school and, and on the weekend drive the Target. So that's going well. It did seem like he wasn't interested in driving. I, I still don't think he is, but I think he realizes now that he needs to know how and be available to drive himself places when I'm not going to be able to get him to places. Uh, and that's it. So I'm kind of happy about that. I want him to be more independent. All right. So that's my lunch today. One of my favorites lately, this... Uh, meatless protein loaf. It's a meat loaf with no meats, made with the pea protein uh, and some vegetables. And 42 grams of protein, like 300 and, God, I don't know the, remember the macro, it's like, I wanna say 381 or 391 calories. Like, it's for this much of protein, it's low in calories. It's a great option. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, I'm trying to bend down here so you can see me. Uh, I've got a really amazing meal today. Look at all this food, it's two huge burritos. Let me do a pan over and show you what I have. All right, you can see here I've got uh, my beautiful uh, 
TVP high protein taco filling and I've stuffed it into two amazing burritos. Uh, the whole thing, uh, the whole serving, I'll tell you about it here. This is one serving for 397 calories and about 38 grams of protein. Oh man, this looks so good. I am starving. Let's eat. All right, so I'm ready to eat these. I've got my water right here. I've got my Herman Munster lunchbox over here. So this is a really good recipe because you get two full burritos for 387 calories, 397 calories, and it's 37, 38 grams of protein with the, the shell. And you can see here, look how much is in there. That is a lot of food. And this, the TVP like mimics like taco meat so good. Like, it just does an amazing job. Ugh, it smells delicious. Oh man, this is so good. There's a link to that video right here. Uh, and in the video description, I have a link to the printable recipe for this and on how you can make your own a taco seasoning. I, I just made my own. I didn't, I didn't buy any taco seasoning. Oh man, I've got some avocado on this, which is extra calories, but it is absolutely worth it. It's delicious. Oh yeah. So, I mean, look at all this food for 397 calories. It's under 400 calories, and it's almost 40 grams of protein, 38. Like, absolutely delicious. Grab some water. All right, it's a busy day. Uh, Thursday was day one of Skills USA State, and I took uh, 64 students to competitions uh, for leadership and technical. And then Friday was a school holiday because of Good Friday, but it was day two of Skills. So, I had, again, 64 students on a bus downtown. I had to be here at 6:15 in the morning. We didn't get back till 8:30 at night, but we did walk away with 35 awards and 12 students going with me in the summer to nationals. So it was really successful. And our chapter got chapter of distinction level gold, which is a big deal. So pretty excited about that. But it does mean that I'll be, once again, during my summer vacation, taking a bunch of kids to Atlanta. I have some students here with me out of eating lunch. So you may hear them. So I'm really excited about that. I love giving students experiences, like leadership and, and contests and all that stuff for them to to give it everything they have, right? So when they get out in the real world, they learn to do their best and compete. I always tell my students, if you want success, you gotta go get it. It's not coming to you. And like, that's the truth. All right, an amazing lunch. This is a great option. It's very filling. I made these on Sunday and I'm still eating them. So they reheat really well. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy this. We'll see you on the next one. All right, it's another day and another lunch. So today, this one's really fun. Uh, I've got I've got my water bottles here like I always have uh, and I'm having uh, two chickpea salad sandwiches so I've got this high protein chickpea salad uh, recipe uh, there's a link to it right here where I make this uh, and uh, it's a lot of fun because uh, this whole this whole lunch it's two sandwiches gives me like 41 grams of protein for like 450 calories and you can see I've got my lettuce and my tomato and all that so that's what I'm having today, chickpea salad sandwiches. And chickpea salad is one of my favorite things to eat. So good, guys. Mm. This is a great way to, to have a cold lunch so I don't have to heat anything up in the microwave or wait in line for the microwave. It's perfect. Look at that. You can see all that right there. Like, that's a thick sandwich, right? So there's a lot to it. Uh, and that's a complete meal with these two sandwiches. So I absolutely love it. So it is uh, the 9th of April, and uh, the year is coming to a close fast. So I've got a lot going on this week. I've got a lot going on every week. But we're getting closer and closer to this graduation dinner they put on. At a, it's a big banquet at a, a golf course. Uh, Tim's family's coming in, and, and uh, we celebrate the seniors leaving every year. Well, this year, of course, Colex is one of the seniors that's leaving. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited about that. We've been going to, like, college nights. Lex has decided to go to the local community college here for two years, and then he's gonna to transfer to ASU for uh, video and film production. Uh, so that he's gonna be home with me for two more years, which I think is probably probably the best choice for all of us. Check out that recipe if you're interested. It's on the website, www.plantbasedads.net. All my recipes are there. If you want it, there it is. All right, 
We'll see you on the next one. I'm trying to crouch down here so you can see me. This is a very like deep dish. There's like a lot of food in here. I right, so put some extra cheese sauce on this. This is my cashew cheese sauce. I just feel like it needed more. And I'll talk about that uh, as I'm eating it. But I gotta eat this. It smells so good. I only got 30 minutes. I can't wait to dig, dig into this. Oh, let's go. I made this recently on one of these like, you know, what I eat in a day type of videos. And uh, this is one of my existing recipes, my broccoli and potato uh, bake. Uh, so link to that right up here. And all I did was add a bunch of TVP in it to make it more protein rich. That's it. Um, and I cut down on the amount of cashew cheese in it. Uh, and when you did that, it wasn't really casserole like. I mean, it was, but it still falls apart. I don't care. I eat it anyway. But I'm adding an extra serving of uh, cashew cheese on it uh, just because I feel like it wasn't really cheesy enough. And there you go. Oh, man. This looks so good. You've got the, you can't see, where's the camera on the phone? So you've got the broccoli there, you've got the potato, you can see that. Uh, there's some TPP in there, it's a cheese sauce. This is absolutely delicious, I can't wait to eat this. Oh man. Mm. When I was just doing the starch solution, this was literally one of my favorite meals. I would make it like every week for meal prep. It's delicious, I'm having the TPP in there, just proteins it up, so there you go. Mm. If you haven't already checked out my uh, other channel where I did the, the 120 day progress video, uh, you know, with my numbers and all that, check that out right here. It's really interesting. It shows you uh, all the body fat I've lost and, and the muscle I've gained. And just all my numbers are just changing. Uh, so that's, that's pretty exciting. All right, so it's a whole piece of broccoli. We are in the end of April. I've got four actual uh, days of instruction left. And then I start an all out two week like boot camp blitz for uh, my students to pass this certification exam. So we're going to be starting that next week. Next week is May, and like the last day of school is the 23rd. That's Lex's graduation. Holy smoke. I don't know what it is, but normally I'm not stressed out by teaching or anything, but when we get down to the last week of April and the, the, what's left of May, it is all out everything you have. Like I'm exhausted every day now when I go home. And uh, the weekends have just wiped out. Like, there's just so much to do. And I'm realizing now, I'm not going to get it all done before the end of the year. <sighs> it's frustrating. So, a cool thing happened to me. I am now the face of Earth Chimp. At least, when I'm filming this, I am. Uh, I don't know how long that'll last, but when you go to earthchimp.com and go to the main page there, up comes my face showing, hey, strawberry uh, protein base. I... I I went to get my discount code for someone and I saw that and I was so like, oh my gosh. It was like, I don't know, one in the morning. I don't know what I was doing up, but it was a weekend. I just like, I sent the text to everyone I've ever back home. I'm on Earthchimp's main page. I'm on Earthchimp's main page. Check me out. So thank you to Earthchimp uh, for doing that. That was really cool. I, I almost feel like a celebrity. It was so funny. Like, it's amazing. My students saw it and, uh, they were all just like, Mr. Drugs is on the main page of Earthship. Like, oh my gosh. It was just hilarious. It's something, it's all we've been talking about all day today at school. They just, I mean, they already think like I'm cool and I'm a celebrity because I have the YouTube channel, which I told them like it's nothing celebrity status worthy. Uh, and then this happens and they're like, Mr. Drugs is a celebrity. I'm like, no, I'm not a celebrity. <laughs> I'm just a teacher. Like, that's, that's not celebrity. All right, so. I've got my big lunchbox here. I always have my two waters, as you know. I have table tennis after school. So um, I got one of these uh, Simply Protein uh, protein bars. They have plant-based protein. And there's a whole box of them at uh, Costco for, I don't know how much it is. I bought the whole box, right? And it's got 15 grams of protein for 150 calories. It's a great little snack. And if I get hungry during table tennis, I'll just snack on that. So, all right. That's my lunch for today. My beautiful hash brown broccoli casserole. Absolutely delicious. You definitely need to make this. It's a really good, like, casserole comfort food. Uh, it's a whole meal. And you make this 13 by 9 tray of it. You cut it into four slices, and a quarter of that tray is one serving. The whole thing's under 400 calories and, like, 43 grams of protein or something. It is so vegan macro-friendly, like, you just can't beat it. All right. We'll see you on the next lunch. All right, last lunch of the week. It's a Friday. Uh, we're almost done with the school year. I'm so excited. I've got my Herman Munster lunchbox and uh, 
uh, my water bottle over here. I only can fit one water bottle today because I have this gigantic salad for lunch. Like, look at all that lettuce. There's so much stuff on here. You can't see it all, but uh, I've got, uh, let's see if I can show you this. I've got the pieces of the veggie chicken. I've got a whole bunch of carrots in here. I've got a lot of onions. Uh, I've got, uh, can't see it, but I've got dates in here. Maybe you can see that. I've got walnuts. Uh, one of my favorite things to put on a salad is fresh fruit. So I'm going to toss in 100 grams of apple that I dip in, dipped in lemon juice so they don't, uh, they don't turn brown. And I've got my cashew powder dill dressing, my cashew powder dill ranch, maple ranch. So good. So I'm going to pour that all over here. That is my dressing. I don't know how I'm going to eat this out of this. This is like, there's so much in here. Oh, man, that looks amazing. Oh, the smoke. Can you see all that? <laughs> this is how a vegan eats a salad, right? People think we just like eat lettuce and that's it. Oh, my gosh, no. This is amazing. Oh, yeah. Oh, so good. It was delicious. The macros on the salad are just crazy. I'll post it on the screen right here, but I mean, I'm on my phone filming, so I can't look at my phone, but it's something like 600 and something calories, which is a lot, but it's the biggest meal of the day for me. And I don't know, like 60 grams of protein or whatever it is, like I don't remember, but it's a lot. That's a lot of like fiber, this apples and lettuce and, and carrots in here, like there's so much. It's a great option for me to take for lunch because this like will fill me up and I won't be able to breathe afterwards. And if there's snacks laying around, whatever, like I'm not gonna eat them, I'm not even hungry. So, so uh, an amazing week of lunches. We're gonna finish it off with the salad. I'm gonna eat this, I got a lot going on today. Uh, the mentor is coming, it's the last time he's gonna be here today for the year and then I'm done with him for next year because I'll be a third year teacher. Uh, I've got Skills USA going on, I've got so much stuff going on. I've gotta get like kind of wolf this down and just work during my lunch. So if you like these week of lunches as much as I do, Hit that like button, show us some love, click on the subscribe button, click on that bell. You get notified every time we have a new video, usually every Tuesday. And leave a comment below. Are, are you a teacher? Do you have an office job during lunch? Do you have an office job where you have to bring your own lunch and all that? Like, stuff like this, and this is the answer right here. There's a lot of food here, a lot of calories, a lot of protein, a lot of everything. And this will fill me up. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>